The Volkswagen Polo Cup is one of the longest standing motorsport sponsorships in South Africa. And over the past few seasons and long into the 22 years of racing, we've seen some of the top South African drivers come through the series and move on to bigger and better things. Last year we saw Jeff Kruger take on a big field of very, very competitive drivers. And the action was probably some of the best we've seen in the entire time that this championship's been around. Action just kept coming every single circuit we went to. And as it got to the end of the season, no one could quite get there except for maybe Tasman Pepper and Jonathan Mahotzi. But eventually it was Jeff Kruger who took the victory. And now we look forward to a brand new season of Volkswagen Cup with a brand new sponsor as well, with Falcon coming on board for the very first time. A massive, massive turnaround and a really, really awesome and exciting time for the brand because not only do they look after the race cars, but they look after the road cars as well. We came out to SWAT Cups to see what this is all about and see exactly what's going to happen in 2019 with new tyres, new cars and new drivers. A couple of old drivers coming back into the series as well because of how competitive it is and how exciting this format of racing can be. Dr. Jan Pretorius, not only putting your money where your mouth is, but your product as well. We've just seen you in a briefing with the drivers talking about a product that is specifically generated for extreme sports. Yes, uh, we're the administrators for uh, Comcare Medical Scheme and uh, we've designed a uh, product with uh, some very specific bene benefits for uh, adventure seekers, but particularly for motorsport. Uh, one aspect of it deals with exercise prescription, make sure the guys are, are fit. So it's an individualized uh, uh, assessment that uh, is performed on them and they then have a uh, monthly assessment and they uh, have access to uh, exercise facilities around the country at some very prominent uh, brand names. Uh, with exercise obviously goes uh, eating well, a nutritional program. And so uh, we are providing an individual nutritional assessment and help the guys to eat right while they train, before race day, after race day and uh, then during training. And then lastly, to make the story complete is, um, is that of being emotionally well and mentally fit for racing. To get, to get that motivation right, to get the focus levels right, we also provide a 24-hour call centre where they can phone, uh, not only for sports but any type of uh, emotional strain that they might have, and some face-to-face -face counselling with uh, some uh, professionals to help them get that mental fitness uh, and focus right for their racing. The Volkswagen Polo Cup is one of the oldest motor racing formulas in the country and has produced champions both nationally and internationally. Port Elizabeth's Michael Stephen is a previous champion and current GTC triple champion. He'll be on hand as an advisor and mentor this year to Volkswagen in both the Polo Cup and GDC racing. Yeah, it's a fant fantastic opportunity for me. Um, you know, having come through the ranks of Polo Cup and, uh, you know, right through. So to give back a little bit now, not only in Polo Cup and GDC, but also in the academy, you know, it's sort of a dream come true. Volkswagen's a big brand, you've been involved with the sister product for a long, long time. But it's nice to step across and see exactly what's happening and what happened with your kind of career, starting in this class and eventually becoming one of SA's finest. Yeah, it's fantastic to, to see that, you know, and have that opportunity from starting in Polo Cup and progressing through to the top level of motorsport in South Africa. So if I can give back a little bit and, you know, help someone else to do that in the future, uh, you know, goal achieved. There are a number of top teams competing in the series and Signature Motorsport has won a number of titles. Team manager is Etienne van der Linde. I think we've got a good track record in Polo Cup and uh, hopefully we can build on it again this year with another championship. Um, nice to have Chris back, former champion in the series. So yes, I think we've got a, a strong field um, with Clinton, Chris and Matt Shorter. And then we've got the junior Elton Bow in his second season. A new team competing in the series this year will be run by former racer and Dakar competitor Leroy Poulter, whose wealth of experience will assist rookie drivers competing in the Polo Cup for the first time this year. We asked Leroy what his input would be as far as the team is concerned. What I've been trying to do now is teach the guys, you know, from a young age through karting and try and make the next step, you know, into circuit racing and not lose the, the kids. So that's, that's the name of the game now for me. And um, this year we've got a nice three-car team. Um, we've got the two uh, Hammond um, brothers. And then we've got uh, O'Connor back from single-seater. So uh, really looking forward to it. The Volkswagen driver search has been a resounding success, attracting entries countrywide. 
driver search winner last year, Rice Icemal, will be returning to Polar Cup action this year after competing in the Super Hatch Regionals in 2018. Out on track, Rice looks like he is immediately on the pace and settling well in the new car. Um, we're back in Polar Cup. I mean, it's the big league now, again. Um, yeah, it's just a matter of getting more practice, getting more laps in, getting more confident with the car, and yeah, we'll see where it takes us. So to be with ex-champions, future champions, and current champions, it's a big step to fill. No, definitely. Um, it's, a little, it's very competitive out there. Um, I've just come in from Super Hatch. Super Hatch, things are not as competitive, not so close. Like, you know, everyone's more chill, relaxed. It's more of like a, like a fun vibe here. It's a lot more serious. Um, yeah, it's just about like taking all that I've learned, putting it all out there in my driving style, in my abilities, uh, pushing them to the limits and yeah, ultimately seeing how well I can do. Jonathan Mahotzi was always in contention in last year's Polo Cup Championship and will be looking to improve on his position in 2019. A very fast driver who must be a pre-season favourite. Um, seems like we've got a very competitive field out here today. Um, based on the first session, a lot of guys are within a good couple of tens, tens of seconds. And um, yeah, we've still got a long day of testing ahead of us. Chris Shorter, welcome return to you into the Falcon Polo Cup for this year. I'm sure you're looking forward to uh, banging wing mirrors and anything that needs to be banged to get to the front. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's going to be a very close year of racing. There's some, some extremely good drivers out there. So I'm looking forward to a very competitive season of racing. Back with the team that gave you a championship, so it should be right up the front from the word go. What's it been like on the new tyres? Um, it's a lot better on the slicks um, as opposed to the semi-slicks which you tested at the end of last year. Um, but I mean, these guys know what they're doing. Um, it's in front of them is extremely good. Um, and just thanks to Ronnie for, for taking myself and my brother on board again for, for the new year. 2018 Polo Cup champion Jeffrey Kruger looks to be hard at work on track, trying a new setup on his car. The move to slick tyres should make racing even closer, so he'll face stiff opposition during 2019. Certainly, the pressure is on Jeff. Today's going to be really crucial to get some good uh, testing down, get some, some good data uh, and carry forward into the year. So um, now the base is looking very, very strong at the moment, so we're going to have to do some homework and try to get up there with the guys. We're going to a circuit that we haven't been to for a long, long time for the first round. That's going to be a bit of a change up for how things will go in terms of strategy. But what's your plan for the season to try and take it back to back? Yeah, look, I'm just going to have to work hard. Yeah, a lot of testing, a lot of uh, data analysis, um, and just uh, working with myself uh, to try to just improve uh, concentration and just try to be on it all the time, you know. Uh, small things, small things that add up to make a, a successful season. So we learned that last year, and now we, we know what, what to do this year. So we'll be, be strong, hopefully. Interesting in Falcon Polo Cup are a number of brothers and family teams involved, but here are twin brothers. What's this all about and uh, what are you looking to do in 2019? Well, I'm happy to be in the same team as my brother again this year. It's going to be really exciting. I think we work together very well. I think especially since we're twins, we really understand each other well. And I'm very excited. I think we're going to be strong this season. I'm already in this practice. We're seeing that the pace is good. Darren, from your side, looks like you've been in the gym a lot more than your brother has, but. Yeah, apparently I just eat more and I'm fat, but um, <laughs> yeah, I'm also happy to be back in the team. Um, obviously, I learned a lot last year and um, hopefully with the knowledge I gained, I can put it into this team and we can be very successful. Polo Masters champion Tasman Pepper will miss out the first round of action to be held at Desi's Raceway on the 2nd of March as she'll be competing in the World W Series tryouts overseas and we wish her luck in her Formula 3 car. But a final word from Volkswagen Motorsport manager Mike Rowe who's extremely excited about the upcoming season. Yeah, for sure, um, exciting times. We've got Falcon on board as a tyre tyre brand um, spun taking the naming rights for Polo Cup. We're really, really happy to have them on board, but uh, also Universal Healthcare have come on board as a partner, um, and that, that's that's fantastic for us too. So two new sponsors um, involved in the series sponsor, not just with the teams. So um, yes, yeah, the the scene is set for a fantastic 2019.